Hello my wonderful people, I'm Ema Kings, know your favorite presenter on this channel, Ema Kings TV. How are you guys doing? I believe you're doing very fine. Before we proceed, please make sure you share this post, make sure you like, make sure you comment. Then before you now continue to watch, thank you very much for being our returning followers on Facebook. Please check us out on YouTube channel. We are also there at Ema Kings TV or you can visit Ema Kings as well. We have two YouTube channels in case this one have issue. Well, I'll switch to this one. So we shall be very grateful to be bringing you updates back to back every day on this channel, Emakins TV. So why I am here today is to discuss about Mobath death. The way Mobath died, um, you know, how do I put it now? His death is very painful. Uh, his death is not something that I should keep quiet. It's something that I should enlighten most of you to know how things works. In the spiritual realm and in the physical realm you know he didn't die a natural death yes he didn't die a natural death so what am i trying to say here his death was constructed it was orchestrated by some group of people some group of cults you know orchestrated his death because you know in this life nothing goes for nothing so any great man you see today as a backup so whatever thing you think you're doing today does not come at a platter of gold so that is what I'm trying to say here so right now for most of you who think that record level record level you see this one is training this one is training my brother it's not easy for your music to sell these days it's not easy as a musician for you to blow hmm, it's not easy it has to require something for you to be there in most of the things happening in africa today even some pastors people who are pastors before you blow you can see some of them on social media they bury cows in front of their church for members to be tripping so all these things are there but if you don't have inner eyes there is no way you can notice about it so what am i trying to say so many people that you see that it's raining today in one way or the other did something for them to be where they are because some group of people are controlling this entertainment industry in all over the world they now have their branches everywhere you know the people i'm talking about i don't want to mention their name here they are the people controlling the music industry if you are not ready to belong if you're not ready to be part of them they will make sure you don't have b-board in america they will make sure your billboard is not situated in any part of america or any part of the world they will make sure they keep subjecting you they will come with so many offers which i once experienced in those days i said no because most of you don't know me if you are to compare me you should compare me with um p square you compare me with two-face you compare me with Jamatins, you compare me with J don jesus and all the rest of them so most of the people you are seeing that are running today, I started before them. But I decided not to go to that direction they went before they are what they are today. I said no because I came from a, a, a very Christian background home. My mother was uh, a serious minister, a prophetess in those days. So I was trained up and brought up with the fear of God. So that was why I decided to decline the offer when they came in 2003. Because I played my first hit 2002. Most of you will know the song. From the first day I met Jesus, I knew that my life would be, because of you I felt my life would be complete. Lord Jesus, I pray you for the rest of my life. God, I pray you to make everything right god i love you and i've never denied you i i really praise jesus for life and the next one said oh my jesus christ your love so great that you died for me on calvary that's one reason why i honor you jesus christ that was my first song I did in those days. So because of this, they brought an offer when the song was selling in 2003 and above. They came from Lagos, they gave me a call. 
guy wants you to you have a very wonderful song you are able to remix uh, uh, my cleanse to rock Casey and Jojo um, and all the stuff Mark Anthony and uh, um, Westlife a uh, place we want to project you to go worldwide but we have a condition I know as the terms of condition they said I must belong to their group and when I spoke to my family they said no we don't need that you know where you're coming from you know your background i declined the offer and because of that they decided to quench my light which i never minded because they used my manager to do that because my manager saw it that it was a great opportunity for us to travel all over the world but when i saw what is behind it i said no i declined the offer so my brother that is how it is anybody that you see that is selling today belongs to one court or the other quote me right that is what i said anybody that you see that is making waves today my brother on music content creators are quite different unless they are going to introduce it later anybody you're seeing that his music is selling that has billboard in america go and investigate that person well you will see that that person has joined the group of those celebrities who have decided to join for them to be popular in this world so if you're an upcoming artist please take it easy follow it small small is they join content creation create something and god will help you from here then because you saw that the video is traveling all over the world this one whiskey kiss daniel and that and you decided to you know fast track yourself you are going to shorten your life so that is what i am trying to tell you the advice i'm trying to give you so mobath death has something to do because he discovered that the option they gave him was not longer right for him and when he was trying to quit they eliminated him when he was trying to quit they eliminated him. that was why he said if i die today he was mentioning the name of his boss he was mentioning some other people's name you know he said know that these people are the ones that killed me indirectly he was passing this message for you people to know that he's about to die now he sang one of the songs he said medicine after death there is another song he said when i die people will celebrate me more now ask yourself a question if somebody says such thing in the music don't you think the person knows he's going to die so that was why he was very angry and furious because he never liked where he was coming from because he knows he was from a christian background he's a very good keyboardist he goes to church so but because of fame he never knew that the people who gave him offer was trying to you know to lure him to something yes you have the fame but at the end of the day you have a price to pay so thank you my wonderful people for sticking to this uh, video i make sure you share this video to go viral please i am begging you share our videos so that others can learn from it for the upcoming content uh, musicians who are coming up to be able to learn that before you become a great man there are some sacrifice but if you take it step by step god will still bless you thank you and share the video bye for now